Uh, really proud of the young guys. Uh, did some really special stuff out there on the floor defensively tonight. Uh, the only, you know, the down, if I had any downs, was, again, 16 offensive rebounds. But I get it with young guys. When you're blowing teams out, you start not focusing on the small things. You start doing things you want to do. And we're not good enough to do that yet because we're about to go on the road and get a test. But other than that, I mean, to hold them to 24% from the field for the game, just to me, is, is major. Obviously, we didn't shoot free throws well tonight. We shot 90% last game and didn't shoot so well this game. So, you know, we got to clean some things up. But having a young team, I'm really proud that they could just take take their games to different levels uh, every game. Uh, Coach, I know you can't come in on the situation specifically, but how how tough was it to, to come out and, and coach after a tough day like that? It just is what it is. You know, we, 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 we just – we know we have to focus to come out. We still had a task ahead of us. And uh, UIC, even though they were down players, they were definitely um, capable, especially if, uh, if their better players got hot tonight. And uh, we did a great job on him. So, you know, we, we knew we had to stay locked in no matter what was going on. Hey, Penny, in your last press conference, you said you got to block out all the negativities. So you got uh, – how are you going to carry <laughs> this forward going forward? It is what it is. We just have to do that. You know, right now we're, uh, we're in a season. We're right in the heart, you know, like at the beginning of the season. And we got some tough games coming up. And uh, this next one is the toughest thus far, and we just got to stay locked in and block out the outside noise. Uh, Coach, you mentioned about bad habits. How worried are you about that throughout the season as you blow teams out, picking up I, bad I'm habits? I'm a little now? worried about that because young teams, man, they're, they're, not, they're not getting the, the, the point that it's not about this game. It's about going forward and, and how we have to win. You know, most teams in this in our league, especially, their offensive rebounds is a part of their offense, and you got to box out or you got to get in the fight and get rebounds. So I don't like it when I see 16, 17, 23 offensive rebounds in games for the opposing team. Coach, can you uh, just talk about where you thought James' mindset was going into this game and and how he was able to perform tonight with all that was going on? I mean, obviously, 18 year old kid uh, having this type of attention at this moment. I'm sure he was a little nervous, but he went out there and played his heart out. Had five blocks in the first half. Uh, they only got one touch, and I don't know how many fouls he drew before the game. He drew like um, maybe 10 fouls or something like that, 11 fouls. So to, to me, he was still business as usual. Penny, I understand you, you have to be silent about this, but I just got to ask, why was, he, why was the decision made to allow him to play tonight, and will he continue to play while the injunction is – in place. I can't I can't talk about the first part, but he will continue to play. Uh Penny, percentage wise over the last forty eight hours, how much have you been able to focus on strictly basketball and then how much other stuff has occupied your your thoughts and um, I've been able to, to do a pretty good job of, you know, continue to recruit guys that want to come here uh, and then also stay focused on the team and getting them prepared for these tough games because every game is tough and every game plan is different. So I've been able to lock in on that. I mean, really, you have to really block out the outside noise and just really lock in uh, on your team and, and, and principles and, and things of that nature because we want to do something special this year. Hey, Coach, uh, uh, James got off to a slow start offensively. But Boogie pick up the slack. That's what you're looking for from everybody when somebody's go down, somebody else to pick you up the slack. Well, yeah, this is the type of team that, you know, we have so much talent that any given night it can be anybody. But we knew that they were going to play James differently. We knew that they weren't going to give him the lobs. We knew they were going to play him physical. It happened all through high school, you know, them trying to take his legs out, uh, push him off the block, not let him rim run, and he's going to be the focus. So now these other guys, you know, are very, more than capable. So if you're going to do that to James, then we're going to kill you from out here. So that's how the team should be thinking, and James should still keep playing hard, which he did. Penny, as a player, obviously you played in hostile environments. And while you're not playing on Oregon's campus, you are going to the state of Oregon. Mm -hmm. And we know how students can be, especially when they have some things that they can, they can knock you on. Um, how are you going to prepare your team knowing that you're going into this hostile environment, their first road game, and again, things that are happening today certainly will be used against you by that crowd? Well, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely have a great game plan, and we'll – try to prepare this young team as much as we can. But obviously when you get to the game, you can't, you know, you can't say what's going to happen when they finally get to the game. All we're going to do is just try to keep our principles in front of us offensively and defensively. Things are going to be said everywhere, but we have to, we have to stay focused on what we're doing. 
Uh, all right, Penny. Um, maybe a conversation, maybe during the start of the season. Um, today, we've seen a lot of rotation going on with these young guys, and with so much talent, it looks like you're handling it well. Uh, but my question to you is, do you actually have a starting lineup, or you just go with the flow every game? Well, yeah, this is our starting lineup right now. You know, like I said last game, obviously DJ Jeffries, Alex Lomax, and Tyler Harris, those guys – Alex Lomax and Tyler Harris started 10 games, 11 games last year and played a lot of minutes. DJ Jeffries was in the starting lineup. It's just all about groups. And I think right now we have a good starting lineup and the, and the group coming off the bench is really good as well. And, um, you know, tonight everybody played because when you're blowing teams out, you got to see where everybody is. It's not going to be a steady diet of one or two guys in these type of games. Penny, how many guys do you think you have that are elite rim protectors down low that can help you on the defensive end? Well, obviously James for sure. Precious. Uh, we're trying to get Lance Thomas to be more of that, and we're trying to get DJ Jeffers to be more of that guy with his athleticism. The guys that have the most athleticism, we're trying to get them to rim protect. And, um, you know, they, they blocked 15 shots last game. This game it was only eight. But, um, you know, that's something that we're going to have to continue to work on because we have to rim protect for sure, especially if we're going to get up and press the way we want to. Benny, you've, you've been in a similar situation with James before. This time around, when you're dealing with this cloud, where, where are you at, like, in terms of your spirit, the way you're dealing with this? Like, are you, are you like, well, like, I'm going to get through this? I'm human, so, but we're just, we're dealing with it as we move along. So, like I said, I've been through this before, so you just have, you have to deal with it. I think I'm doing fine with it. Um, Damian, Damian started tonight, but he only played 13 plus minutes. Was that just kind of your feel the way uh, Alex and uh, Boogie were playing tonight? Or was no, actually, he that? got into foul trouble early, and I think he only played two minutes the first half, and I think 11 or 11 minutes in the second half, and it's just the flow of the game. And it was a 40, 50 point lead. You know, it's time for other people to play. I mean, Damian understands that it's all about sacrifice on this team. Obviously, in bigger games, more guys, five or six guys might play more. But in these type of games, you gotta you gotta play everybody. Hey, coach, um, uh, who has a game plan against Oregon, and what scares you about Oregon? Um, Cody Topper, Coach Topper has the game plan against Oregon, and what scares me about them is Peyton Pritchard. You know, he's a guy that can go for forty points. You know, he showed that last year in the in the, in the Pac-12 tournament and in the NCAA tournament. He he can get going, and um, he's a dangerous player. And they set a lot of screens for him. And uh, he's not the only player on the team, but he's definitely the head of the snake, and he scares he scares us for sure. Um, just today, how would you describe your overall emotional state? Just like uh, like roller coaster, you know? Like I guess you can say that. I guess you can say roller coaster. But we knew we had a game, you know. And as a coach of this team and a leader of this team. You have to snap out of whatever it is as fast as you can, and then be be ready to be ready to coach. And the guys performed great tonight. Uh, we had a great game plan in with Coach Miller, and you know earlier in the day, it's you know you're trying to figure out how to do things for the guys and to get them comfortable, and you know. But it, it was it was a roller coaster day. Thank you. Thank you.